It all started in 1988. Um, <clears throat> father was working for Georgia Power, Savannah Electric Company, worked in the buckets on power lines. And I was working a Saturday trying to make some extra money, and I wasn't even a year old yet. My brother was two. And um, goes to lunch on a Saturday, power's been off all morning. Comes back from lunch, and uh, somebody made the power hot and didn't tell anybody. Supervisor turned it back on. So when he went to grab it, you know, electricity shot through, you know, his, uh, shot through his right arm, all through his heart, and then blew out his left hand from here. So he's uh he's got a nub from here down from here down and he's uh got these three fingers left with very limited movement. He was claimed dead twice, brought back twice. Said he had the out of body experience once and saw the white light twice. So uh but you know, and he's uh he's it's very fortunate to still have him with us to this day. You know, I'm 27 years old and this happened 27 years ago. So my mom goes went through a lot during those times, you know, she I think he was in the hospital for a total of 4 months straight. Ended up missing my first birthday, but I always give him, give, him, give him a little joke about that, how he missed my first steps and my first birthday, but you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have him here. Now, I read a little further on where it said that uh, when you were coming up playing baseball, you were cut back in like seventh grade or so, is that right? Seventh and eighth grade, both. What did your dad do? Uh, he actually starts his own baseball team. We, we go and uh, get our own team out of, uh, of all the misfits that he called us, misfits and no, the people that nobody wanted. And I ended up being a pretty good team. We had a team where uh, we went into tournaments and beat the team that I used to play for Open League. And here we are, a bunch of, you know, hometown rednecks going out there and just playing fun and ended up winning a lot of tournaments. Um, a lot of people look back and say, did it help you work harder? No, it just made me even more mad at the person that actually cut me. So um, I, I don't really give him a whole lot of credit for cutting me and making my work ethic any harder because it, it, my work ethic has always been through the roof. <laughs> My parents tell me stories about you know, being five years old and them asking me what I want to do with my life and I told them from the get-go it was major league ball playing and they told me what's your backup plan I said there was no backup plan that's that's what is that's going to happen so at first they kind of just ran with it until I kind of grew up and they figured I'd grow out of it and um, as I progressed I guess they kind of realized that I was serious about this and I was going to make it something that was going to happen and, you know everybody asked me what, what's my plans after retirement I said you know I'm 27 years old I got hopefully 13 more years of this business to worry about Retiring and, and once once that happens and then I'll then I'll focus on it. I've hopefully you know had enough time and made enough money in this game to where I don't have to work another day in my life as well as you know my wife if I ever get married and my kids. Um, so I just I'll, hopefully it'll be something where I can take care of my family for a long time and <clears throat> hopefully buy a big boat and go fishing and do that every day. But until now it's undecided. <laughs> 